Hi everyone in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can build a high split backward trajectory model and plot it using R Studio I think you are already familiar with high split uh, trajectory models that's why you are watching this video so in this tutorial I'll be specifying a particular point location in the city of Kochi in India and we will be plotting backward trajectories that reached our particular location after traveling 48 hours that is what meant by trajectory duration uh, if you consider this trajectory I think it's the longest one uh, it took 48 hours for this trajectory to travel from this point to our final destination in Kochi and for all these trajectories uh, the same thing happened that is it it had it had to travel 48 hours to reach our specified location be it the longest one or be it the shortest one it all took 48 hours and the time period we are going to specify will be 1st January to 10th January so for each day within this time period we will be plotting trajectories that reached our specified location in Kochi at, uh, at the 8th hour, 16th hour and 24th hour which will be uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the evening and 12 o'clock midnight here in India. So, there will, so in total there will be around 30 trajectories because there are 10 days and for each day there will be three tra trajectories that reached our location at this specified times and in total if you count you can see there will be around 30 trajectories and the height from the ground level is 30 meter which means the air parcel all these trajectories represent air parcels that travel from a distant location to our city at a height 30 meters above the ground level and the data set we'll be using for this uh, building this backward trajectory model will be NZP global reanalysis data so this is a brief introduction now let's start with coding uh, if you open R first of all you need to uh, load two packages which are split R and loop date I have loaded and in some cases you won't be having these two packages in your our studio so you will you may have to go to packages and install and here you can type the name of your package lubridate it's there you can click it and install similarly you can install splitter also but in some cases like happened in my case splitter was not available here if i search it's not there so in that case you may have to download it and download and install it directly from the github and for that you will have to run these two lines of code dev tools and you have to you should be having dev tools in your R studio if you're not having again you have to repeat the same process go to install packages and install dev tools and then you have to line the second line of code which will download and install the splitter from uh, github i don't want to run these codes because i'm already having these packages and one more thing you have to specify before building your model that is you have to set your timeout which which actually means uh, when you are downloading this meteor meteorological data for running this high split model uh, the, the download process is going to take some time and if your timeout is by default in our studio the timeout period is 60 seconds and that is too short because when you're downloading large size data uh, within 60 seconds you can't download it and it gets timed out and your download will be stopped so in order to prevent that we are going to make that default 60 seconds into 10,000 seconds and you can also run these two lines of codes and now it's time to build our trajectory model here i'm calling the function high split trajectory from the splitter package and specifying the latitude longitude height duration and the meteorological data which will be reanalysis data as i had shown you earlier and the direction will be backward and what happens when you give your forward is that uh, here we i showed you the backward trajectories when you plot forward trajectories the all these trajectories will be starting from this particular coordinate this coordinate 
and it will be moving to other locations uh, after traveling 48 hours and after that we will be showing only backward trajectories now uh, the difference between backward and forward trajectories uh, is that uh, the backward trajectories represent uh, air parcels that are reaching to our specified location whereas forward trajectories represent air parcels that are traveling further away from our specified location everything else is similar in both cases and we here we can mention our starting date and ending date and by means uh, like each day we are going to plot trajectories at 8th hour 16th hour and 24th hour if you run this line of code uh, it's going to take a while because this the uh, the, the data required for running running this trajectory uh, building this trajectory model is getting downloaded now you can see here something in red that shows that uh, some process is going on let's wait for a while okay now the downloading process has been completed and our trajectory model data frame is here if you open it you can see it's having about uh, 1470 rows and 12 columns so if you can take a look at it various parameters let's back to the uh, so here we can see we have completed downloading and building our trajectory model and one more thing before plotting the trajectory lines uh, is you have to remove the missing values or rows containing missing values in your trajectory data because I think in this case the, there are no missing values but in some instances there will be some missing values in some of these cells so in that case we are not going to consider that cells for building our models and it's it's not possible to plot or create the trajectory plot with missing values so in that case we will be removing those and only we are going to consider complete cases complete rows and you can run this line of code and it's done and finally we can plot our trajectory lines by calling the function trajectory plot here it goes our colorful trajectory lines have appeared now so as I had shown you earlier the uh, most of the trajectory lines are starting from the Bay of Bengal and they travel for 48 hours to reach our location in Kochi you can remove these points so that it will be having a better aesthetic look and why the points are there so the points contain the details about the trajectory for example if you click on this point that information about the trajectory will be available uh, because it says that the trajectory reached Kochi our specified point at 8 o'clock on 1st January oh sorry 7th January and the, and this is the time when the trajectory or the air parcel started moving which is uh, at 8 o'clock on this particular day on 5th January and it's traveling from this point to this point to this point as you move closer to the location you can see the total trajectory duration is getting reduced and if you move closer to Kochi and click on the point you can see uh, like just minus two hours away from reaching Kochi and you can also see the height above the ground level information and the pressure here so that's it uh, if you want to put this diagram into your research paper or something what you can do is you can take a screenshot of this that's the uh, only option because if you export it from here it won't be that clear so i suggest you to take screenshot and if you know some other methods to download this as a pdf or a, maybe a shape file or something you can just put it in the comment box because that will be helpful for others also so uh, one more thing i will show you the forward trajectories as well i'm going to 
specify forward here and you can run this code again and it's going to download the data once again let's wait okay the download has been completed and again we are going to repeat the same steps and finally you can plot the trajectories and it will be showing the forward trajectories here it goes see a lot of twists and turns you can see I can zoom because it's a, so all these trajectories or air parcels started from the region above our pointed location and is traveling further away into the Arabian Sea. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, unlike the option available in the NOAA's high speed website, here you can run trajectory lines for multiple days or even multiple months uh in one go that's the beauty about r so thanks for watching uh, do sub subscribe to the channel and i'll be posting more videos